Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Thea the Awakening. So, we need to uh, create a new expedition, but before we do that, let's take a look at our people. I have renamed everyone, and I've actually unequipped everyone so that we can kind of go from s scratch, because uh, there were some items that weren't equipped, so I'd kind of like to uh, take a good look over all of them and see what we've got uh, and what would be useful. So, we've got uh, Rose Chan, our medic. We've got uh, Ashley, one of our warriors. Uh, one thing that I really do like about this game are these uh, um, these sketches that everyone has. And most of the people that you get, um, the, the normal people that you get, will have pretty unique sketches, meaning that the game has like a, a very large variety of them, which is pretty nice. Uh, another one of our warriors, Eagle Claw. Another one of our warriors, Kettle. Uh, Ritterin, another one of our warriors, who is actually, I think, our strongest person. He can carry the most. Uh, another warrior, Zappa. One of our gatherers, Jasmine. Uh, our other gatherer, Kijikun. One of our craftsmen, Lau. And our other craftsman, Lysane. So, uh, let's go ahead and start out by equipping Ritterin, because uh, he has the most weight that he can carry, so we want to kind of look at uh, the heaviest stuff that we've got. Uh, we only have two suits of armor. We've got a smith's apron, good for smithing, yes, but comes in handy when a beast tries to bite as well. So it gives seven armor and one dexterity. And we've got bone spike armor, which is ten armor. Made of the bones of your fallen enemies. This armor is both strong and intimidating. Um, the smith's apron weighs 96, and the bone spike armor weighs 200. So we are going to give that to Ritterin. Um, and... I'm not sure what shield I will give him yet. Um... Alright, so, um, on these, let me just go ahead and equip this for now. Uh, so, one thing that this weapon has, can I, how do I look at that? Okay, here we go. Uh, piercing damage. Card dealing piercing damage is placed in front of the last card and deals half of its piercing damage without additional effects to it, but only when the last card is an opponent's card. So in other words, uh, you kind of automatically get a first strike with this, and you'll deal some damage when you lay it down. So piercing weapons are really nice. Like, from what I've seen, it kind of looks like the uh, the best um, uh, equipment to use is going to be, you know, basically anything that has a special function like a piercing uh, or blunt or something like that. Um, and this also has poison. Uh, if you attack a wounded creature in combat, poison damage is doubled. So, um, we actually have two different uh, um, piercing weapons. This one is good quality, but this one has piercing and does more damage. So, I think that we will be giving that to uh, Ritterin. Ritterin. I'm, I'm probably not going to be getting... Your, the pronunciation that you told me quite right. Um, now that said, something that does a lot of damage might be better. You know, something like this, uh, this one that does 14. That's pretty nice. Um... Like, the question is kind of, do we want him to be tanky, or do we want him to be damagey? I think we want him to be damagey, uh, tanky, um, because he can carry so much more. So let's see, um, that's three, four, two, three, yeah, we'll give you that, and then we need to look for a one-handed weapon, which we only have a few. Amethyst Sword, legend has it that a human prince once fell in love with a Rusalka. She could not be his, but as a sign of her love, she gave him an Amethyst Sword from the depths of the ocean. So that also gives shielding. So, yeah, I think we'll go with this. Um, so he's going to have 26 armor, 13 damage, and 11 shielding. 
Shielding is an ability which relies mostly on the equipment to protect the wearer or other characters during fight challenges. So that's pretty good. I think that uh, that he'll he'll make for a, a really good uh, um, person who can uh, just soak up a lot of damage, hopefully without getting too injured. Um, so let's see. Eight strength. Eight strength. 8 strength, and 8 strength. So we're looking at uh, pretty similar strengths across the board. I think we will give Ashley the thorn. That's a pretty good thing. Um, and I'm going to give this armor to someone else who has a lot of uh, armor. On the other hand, uh, this is, you know, this is not wearing a... You know, uh, Ashley wouldn't be getting a shield here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Um, that's pretty good. I could go for the, uh, that, nah. Now nah, we'll go for this. Uh, Eagle Claw. Uh, who has, does, do any of you have some dexterity? It's not a whole lot of damage, but it is piercing on that short staff. Nah, I don't see anyone who has uh, dexterity that I'd, I'd kind of want to give that to, but... Um, uh, your armor is pretty good, Eagle Claw, so yeah, I'll give you this. Uh, you get 22 damage, 13 armor, so that's that's not bad. Um, Kettle, I may end up ha uh, keeping you in the... Uh, in the village, so because of that, I'll give you this uh, other spear. And I don't really have much else to give you. Uh, Zappa, I'll give you this uh, uh, blunt greatsword. Okay, and you can carry 200, you can carry 200, you can carry 250, okay, Kijikun can carry 250, so Kijikun can get the Bone Crusher, which does a lot of damage, it's gonna be pretty heavy, Jasmine, uh, you get the Sharp Hip, and one of these shields maybe, no, definitely not a shield. Alright, well that'll have to do. Um, yeah, Rose Chan, you can have the, uh, the short staff. The Sane. Give you that. So it does leave us with, uh, shields, but not really gonna have anyone who can... Well, actually, you can... no. Uh, actually... Yeah, let's give, uh, Kijikun the shield. And that. We are gonna need to get some more stuff. For sure. So unfortunately, this is pretty heavy, and my best shield is a light one. All right, well, let's just give you some shields. That will at least, uh, rest of the people some shields. That they'll at least have some, uh, defense. Um, I do you want to get this other, uh, weapon equipped, though? 
Maybe I should look at someone else. Um... That's 120. Nah, I think that we're just going to have to uh, deal with that. Alright, that'll be okay for now. Uh, let's go ahead and split off a an expedition. Alright, so uh, I think that uh, Rose Chan will stay... Um, we're gonna go with, uh, Searches for Ham. Okay, so... Bring Ashley. Kettle's gonna stay. Eagle Claw can come. He'll improve his health pretty quickly. Uh, Ritterin. Zappa. And I'm not sure if I want to take... Let's take Lysane because of that leech, primarily. And between Kijikun and Jasmine... I think Kijikun is going to be a little bit more useful in multiple situations. Just because of more attributes. So, there we go. Uh, and then we need to take along some supplies. Take seven wood. Take along 24 food. I'm not sure exactly how many we, we're going to want. Um... And that, I think, will be okay. Well, that should be enough. Uh, herbs will help fighting plagues. Could take those. Let's actually take a little bit of... Uh, the vegetables as well. Right, and we also want to take the bones. All right. Number of people, movement points, and for how long? Uh, why are you not updating? Oh, right, because I need to actually tell them to use it, I think. I have added food. Uh, that is Hamtopia. Searches for ham. There we go. Alright. So we'll get some extra health out of this. We've got, uh, seven turns of f fuel supplies, but that should be okay. Uh, let's go to Hamtopia. And let's check our gathering. Uh, we've got no one gathering on the vegetables. I don't know that we're going to have many people who can help with that. So that's fine. I don't need anyone gathering that wood. It is going to be nine turns, unfortunately. So, or five turns. Um... Let's see about this. This might be better. Getting the food might be a little bit better. We'll go with that. Okay. Let's come over to Theodore's tutorial. Theodore welcomes you. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world. Well done. All right, we uh, we have the bones. Wonderful. Well done. And keep your resources. 
They may come in handy on a rainy day, you know. Well, thank you. As you saw, you got both experience points and research points, on top of any material rewards. All of these will help you grow stronger. Oh, okay, so we gained experience and research by doing such tasks. And we can get rewards. So, uh, what now? So, you've discovered that some events will let you solve a situation through more than combat. These non-combat challenges are often just as hard, but it means that fighting is not the only way. Remember, wounds from combat challenges can kill your people even after the fight, so choosing a different path is often safer, and having a medic in your party will help decrease the chances of dying as well. That's anyway, a fair point. great job on the boars. All right, thank you. Uh, but the challenge was still very confusing. Can you run down the basic rules? Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Sure. Firstly, you can always ask me for my tips again. Reset the tutorial in the help menu. But just to give you some of the core tips, initiative is randomly rolled at the start of each challenge, so you have no control over this. Your party is split into two hands, tactical and offensive, and again, this is done randomly. Cards attack their closest enemy on either side, and the round begins from left to right of the table. There are various skills and weapon types that give you special tactical and offensive capabilities. These are only a few pointers, so check out the help manual for more detailed information. Right, thanks. Uh, what now? Practice makes perfect, you know. <clears throat> so now that the boars are done for, let's practice one more challenge type. Oh, goody. Social encounters. I spotted a fellow demon called Hurlick and I want you to convince him to give you some gold. When you have it, bring it back here. Okay, go and talk to uh, Holick and get him to give us some gold for you. Got it. I've got uh, one XP for that. Uh, so that is uh, over here. One Skishak, one treasure, and two others. Uh, we may not do that just yet, because uh, I may want to do some gathering over here first, because there's dark wood and meat. Um, but I think we'll wait. I think we will go and do go ahead and do this since uh, you know, it's it is tutorial, tutorial stuff. Uh, we've got some treasure there. We've got some bird meat there. But it looks like we can't go any further, and we can't camp. So, let's go ahead and end the turn. Alright, so we've got an alert that uh, there's an enemy spot, and that is that one, so that's fine. We have gathered some more vegetables. That's good. Uh, so let's go back in. We only have three turns of fuel, so... Um, I am going to swap back here. And we'll just kind of gather, gather the wood there. And that should be uh, okay. You find the Hurlick Theodore spoke of. He sits on a rock and stares at you with his large yellow eyes. What do you want? You looking for trouble? Because I could get you some. He clenches his tiny fists at you. No trouble, little fellow. We just want to talk. You'll only be in trouble if you don't give us some gold. Intimidate. Um, maybe I should have gone back to town and checked to see if I had better social people. But, uh... Uh, let's see if we have other options if we say, uh, this option. Little? Who are you calling little, you overgrown pile of softy fish bags, you? The creature huffs and puffs at you, shaking its fists violently. Uh, uh all, all right, our apologies, sir. Uh, little is a mark of honor in our village, you know. Like we say, hey there, village elder, you're very little today. Calm yourself, creature, before we are forced to harm you. Give us some gold, and we'll leave you be. Yep, still intimidate. All right, let's try it. So we've got three holics and two crazed bees. Uh, the good thing is that the crazed bees won't be able to do much with the uh, social challenge. Um, skills used in this challenge. Direct would be offense. 
uh, well, a uh, the speech would be for offense and will for defense. Tactical uh, attractiveness gives uh, first action counter offense. Uh, intelligence gives, gives support ally and counter tactic. And folklore gives shield ally. And magic gives confuse. Weapon effects clear mind, uh, faint, and find weakness. So I think that this counts as piercing, this counts as poison, and this counts as bleeding. Or leech, whatever it's called. Let's go ahead and begin the combat. Alright, so we've got uh, not very good people. Lysane and Kijikun are going to be the best. Um, Ashley. I guess it's okay. This is actually probably a better. a better hand than uh, anything else that we would get. So let's go ahead and keep and play this. All right, the opponent goes first. That is 17 attack, uh, 17 defense and four attack, which is good. So yeah, this is poison. Um, so we got counter tactic. Discards a random card from your opponent's tactics hand. Uh, support ally increases offense value of your rightmost card in the queue. Not going to worry about getting closer. Let's see if we can... Uh... I can't move Lysane any further up, so this thing is going to attack first. Uh, Lysane is still going to be the uh, beefiest, so... We'll put Lysane down and... I don't think we can support ally with Lysane, because uh, Lysane is uh, a 5 there. Uh, Zappa would be able to counter tactic, or would be able to support ally on either of you, so we'll hold on to that. Um, unfortunately, Ritterin cannot, so... Let's see if we can get rid of a card, and we did. See if we can get rid of another card. Right, no, we, we have to pass that. Okay, you have beefed up uh, your attack power. Not sure if we can counter tactic on that. All right, let's just get some extra damage in, I guess. That is a lot of, uh, not a lot of, uh, attack, but it is a lot of, uh, defense, which is not ideal, and Ashley has very, very little defense, as far as is concerned. And the crazed bee is worthless. Good, one down. No damage. Excellent. All right, let's see. Um, it's not ideal. I mean, Lysane is going to do the most damage, but I got no, no beefy people. We'll keep playing. All right, player's turn. All right, in that case, we do want Lysane in first. And let's just put in other people who... Let's see, three, three, two. I can't do that. All right. Ooh. You've got poison. That is going to do extra damage to Lysane. Lysane is definitely going to go down, but Lysane will get a hit off first. Question is, can we do enough damage?
I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of that card, so... Uh, I think that I actually want... Ashley to get in closer, because she'll do extra damage with that. Oh, but she is confused. That's not great. do anything with that card. No, nope, not doing anything. Alright, uh... Try that. Yep, that's better. And... Get closer. All right, just get closer for now. All right, uh, Ashley is gonna go down. I'm pretty sure. So is Lasane. But I think we might be able to do enough damage. Yep. There we go. All right, we've won. All right, all right. Theodore is clearly up to his old tricks. Sending you here for his gold. Here you go, and tell him to come himself next time. Eh, uh, maybe. Alright, so we got, uh... We got one gold. Ashley has gotten a blessing of speech. Adds five speech for a set number of turns. Fifteen turns, I believe. And so has Lysane. Alright. Okay, thanks. And we also got uh, one XP and one uh, research out of that. Okay, so there is uh, Darkwood and Birdmeat over here. Uh, we might want to go get that if we can. There's also some uh, straw. That's actually uh, pretty good. There's a lot of stuff there. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and camp. Go ahead and start gathering. Uh, let's see. Akijikun. This actually requires more. Uh, actually, that requires a lot. So that's six turns. We'll see what we can get out of this. So 10, 11, and 3. So we'll get a lot of bird meat. We'll go ahead and uh, camp for a bit. Okay, we've got some wood. Okay. Uh, so five turns for that. That's fine. How, uh, how are we actually doing on our supplies? So we've got 29 turns of food supplies, 9 turns of fuel supplies, so yeah, I think we will continue to gather the, um, the wood. Uh, I'd rather not use up all the meat since we don't have a... We'll have to go out to get more, but... Uh-oh. You have started a challenge with two broken skeletons and one unliving corpse. Um, Alright, well, uh, I mean, this is just uh, standard uh, combat, so we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, Ritterin is in the lead group, which is fantastic. So is Eagle Claw. Kind of wish Ashley was, but... That's okay. We've got uh, some Confuse. Counter Tactic. First action is not going to be useful, but uh, uh, Lysane has a really, really high first action, which will be good. Um, that said, I do want Ashley in the lead, so... Can only reshuffle once. 
Okay, that was not as good as it could have been. We'll go with it, though. Okay, um... Alright, so this, uh, this shield will be added to our defense there. So... It's about the same for Lysane and Zappa, although Zappa will do more damage. So let's get you in. And can we do a... Let's see, I can easily shield you. Although I think I want to wait until Ashley gets in. Uh, in that case... Oh no, I can't do anything. Okay, the Unliving Corpse doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it has a lot of uh, defense. So let's get in there, do some damage. Shield ally. Um, I could shield an ally again. I could actually confuse that guy. Um, now we'll just get... Nope, oh, I'm done. Can't do anything else. Alright, the Broken Skeleton is confused, so we could get uh, Lysane in there, do some damage. Uh, shield Ally. Nope. It's shield Ally and then Confuse. I think that'll be good. Alright, fight phase. Do some damage. Do some damage. Okay, that one is going to do some damage, but it didn't get through our uh, defense, so that's fine. Uh, okay, this is a fine group there. Ashley, go ahead and get in first, and then Ritterin. Go ahead and confuse you. Just shield ally. Shield ally. It's fine. <laughs> Why not? We have one. Alright, we got a rib cage. You found yourself a second rib cage to keep yours safer. So I think that's armor. Uh, one monster bone and another thorn. Plus one XP, plus one uh, research. Excellent. Uh, this is a little bit less good. So we've got a witch and three hulking rats. And we only have four people. But uh, we'll go ahead and begin combat. Uh, Kettle is in the lead. And Jasmine it does have the most defense other otherwise. Um, all you can do is get closer, though. But uh, we've got some first action and shield ally, which are both good. So, yep, we'll go with uh, this. Okay, you're going to do that. So, Kettle, you've got the uh, first strike, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and shield out. No, I can't. Okay, Hulking Rat, another Hulking Rat. Uh, we'll go ahead and Shield Ally. Can't get closer. What are you going to try to do? You're going to get in there. Get closer, do a little bit of damage, and then you come in. It's not ideal, but we'll see how this goes. Good. That went the right way. Alright, we have one. Uh, unfortunately, Rose Chan did sit, take some wounds, but is not close to death. Got some vegetables, got some grain, got some meat, and we got Doctor's Medicus. 
You know, sometimes the only medicine is a hard hit to the nugget. Shouldn't it be noggin? Plus one XP, plus one research. Very nice. So it is getting dark, which is not ideal. We got some more wood. Alright, uh, one more turn for the bird meat. Um, actually... Let's swap you around, and then I'll probably move you there. Then we'll get that, and then... Probably put you over there. So we can get the that dark wood. Uh, we do need to, uh, start crafting some better stuff eventually. Um, which I suppose we could do... Take a look at that. We really do want some uh, crafting materials, and we don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff. All right. All right, let's just uh, let another turn pass as we uh, gather some more things. No other monsters are coming up. There we go, got the straw and the bird meat, which is good. Okay, um, you will actually finish that in one turn, so... It's five turns. We can get some more bird meat later. What are you doing on uh, resources, though? So. Four turns of food supplies, four turns of fuel supplies. And that's five turns. Hmm. All right. Well, when you get when you finish this up, then I'll I'll shift you over, and then we can move back. Okay. Someone is low on resources. It's obviously not you. Got some more straw. Got some more wood. Yeah, it is, you guys. I think that's just telling me that uh, we only have three turns of uh, food supplies. Or five, yeah. So if I do that, that's five. I'd rather not switch that off, but... That's two. I think I can get back in time. Let's play a risk. It is uh, dark, and you can see that the, uh, the shadows got a little bit closer. Villagers idle, that's fine. Got some more wood. Yeah, I'm going to keep getting more wood for now. Um, we'll pick up some more uh, food soon. Uh, I am a little bit worried about going so low on the, the meat. I mean, low, 97, but still. Go one more turn. So there's our dark wood. Okay, break camp. And come on. And rejoin the town. Okay, gathering wise, um, 
Let's actually go ahead and take everyone off for now so that we uh, know what's going on. You get onto the wood. No one else has any uh, any gathering at all. This way people at least are, are working. No one is idle. Although I suppose I could uh, take a look at crafting. We haven't done that yet. Alright, gathering tools. There we go. Put that down there. So, uh, gathering tools. A set of tools to make any gathering job easier. Uh, we could do that instead. That's about the same. I don't have whatever that would be. Yeah, we we'll want to use that instead. And leather, we can probably... Well, actually, we can get to uh, we can get the string a little bit easier. There's a gathering point to the north that I could go grab some on. Uh, it is only gathering one, but that would still be uh, helpful. So we'll go ahead and have someone work on that. Uh, I guess Lau, you can do that. You'll finish that pretty quick. No one else to uh, really help. I mean, Lysane could, but gathering of one already is is pretty nice. So, I think that's where we'll uh, call it an episode. When we come back next time, we'll get that uh, gathering tool, see how that goes. Then we'll uh, probably want to form a new uh, group and head over to Theodore's tutorial. Uh, I may actually leave my people here in town until I have like a really, you know, pass a number of turns until I have a really big supply of. Um, vegetables and wood, just so that I don't. I, I can just toss a whole bunch on my uh, um, expedition and not worry about running out of food. You know, I won't have the the variety and stuff like that, but at least we wouldn't run out of food. So, for now, actually, let's go ahead and manage supplies. Let's turn off the meat for now. Um, actually, no, we won't turn off the meat yet because of that. But, yeah, all right, that'll be okay. All right, but, uh, yes, when we come back next time, uh, I think we'll just uh, try to get a few more gathering tools and do a few more things. It is nighttime, so it's a good, good time to stay in the village anyway. See you next time, everyone.